But I guess we ought to call it a night. Come on, Stewie. Up to bed. No party? Oh, come on. I was going to show a slideshow of all those silly photos I took of Meg. I tell you something, if he touches my daughter, I'm going to be kicking butts and taking names. And then giving those names to other people whose butts I kick. <laughs> What's your name? Derek. <laughs> What's your name? Michael. You're Derek now. Look, Quagmire, you're one of my best pals, and I'm asking you not to do this. I want to help you, Peter, I really do. But it's, it's like you're asking a fish not to swim. She's legal and I'm going in. Well, we'll see about that. I ain't afraid to stand up to friends. Just ask Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. That guy's Spartacus. Stewie, what are you doing? Oh, just do a little Tai Chi. You know how the Asians look 30 until they're 60? This is why. Of course, then they suddenly look 100, but cross that bridge, you know. Is this a Japanese thing? No, Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. Hey, you want to see a movie? No, nah, we're Japanese. Let's go watch a schoolgirl bang an octopus. Yeah! feel <laughs> good! <laughs> Whoa, who's the hot chick? Oh, that's Stella. You don't have to whisper. She's deaf. Really? Oh, my God, that's hot. I didn't know you had a thing for deaf chicks. Any kind of disabled chick, Peter. They can do things to you that regular chicks don't even think of. Besides, you know me. I'm into a lot of different stuff. What, did you hear something? No, nah, it's all good. All right. Hey, anything's possible, right? I mean, I once found the bat cave. Look, you can't expect to hire 60 workers to dig a cave under your house and then keep it a secret. I mean, those men live in this town. Yeah, but I told them it was part of a geological survey. Batman, Batman. They built a lazy Susan for your nuclear car. That's something they consider conversation-worthy. What the hell am I gonna do? All right, all right, just calm down. Calm down? We're all supposed to have dinner tomorrow night, and her parents are gonna see that I'm a dog. Yeah! No! No! Yeah! Don't worry, Brian, I'll come up with something. Remember, I'm the guy who came up with the choreography to Showgirls. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Elizabeth, darling, too much hands, not enough hips. Can I just show you? One, two, three, four, I'm dancing from my vagina. One, two, three, four, I'm grinding, I'm grinding. Orgasmize, orgasmize, and we're done. You do 20% that? And we got a movie. Gosh, you know, our little Scotty seems to be having such a good time with your son. Would you be interested in getting them together for a play date? Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Look at them. They're getting along like Billy Bob Thornton and his cat. Billy Bob? Leave me alone. I'm taking a bath. Peter, I have to go talk to the Jennings and ask them to reconsider getting treatment for Scotty. I'm going with you, Lois. Yeah, I'll go too. All right, but try to keep your mouth shut, okay? You have a habit of saying the wrong thing. During his 22-year reign, this French monarch, known as the Spider King, had an ongoing feud with Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy. Peter? Who was King Louis XII? Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. We were looking for King Louis XI. Ah, damn it, I knew that. Ah, well, me and the with a big black King Louis XI. Tim, select. Well, and I'll tell you who you should really be praying for. Out-of-work clowns. I need 40. Come on, Lois, I think we're wasting our time here. They're obviously very committed to their beliefs. But their beliefs are crazy, Brian. I don't know who's crazier, these people are those Seventh-day Adventists. I'm a Methodist. We believe that the Lord is our Savior, and we remember Him by going to church and praising Him every Sunday. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things that you believe, but we go to church on Saturdays. What? <laughs> what? The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about us going in there and taking that kid and getting him some help. I mean, I know it's wrong, but it's better than just letting him die. And yeah, it's not a bad idea. It's like we're doing a public service, like those idiots who get together to paint a school. This underachieving, crime-ridden school is now fawn beige, thanks to guilty white people with no weekend plans. Yay! Scotty Jennings? Oh my god, 
I know she was upset, but do you think Lois would have gone so far as to kidnap him? Of course she did. She'll do anything for attention. I know. She's like the boy who cried wolf. Wolf! Wolf! Did you hear that? Somebody needs help! Let's go! Ah! Oh my god! Charles! Oh my god! I'll run and get help! No! No! We've got to carry him! We can't leave him here! There's a wolf! Um... There's not really a wolf. What? Tell my kids I love them. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> this was so funny in my head when I planned it. You know, Peter, you were right. This is actually kind of a rush. I mean, look at us. We're like Thelma and Louise. Yeah, but we all know that didn't end well for them. You know what? Let's just turn ourselves in. I got a great lawyer, and he says worst case, 8 to 12 years. And when we get out, we'll still have the rest of our lives ahead of us. Goodbye, terrible women. Oh, I see what's going on here. You're jealous. Chris has a wonderful young woman in his life, and you've got nothing. She's kind of right, Brian. All you've got is a worn-out rope toy and that squirrel who comes by once a day to taunt you. Hey! Hey, get out of here! This is our yard! You don't belong there! Don't you touch anything! I told you all this yesterday! I don't get it. Last time we saw you, Diane Simmons had just stabbed you in the back with a knife! Yeah, how the hell did you come back to life? Well, gentlemen, sometimes being a big Hollywood star has its advantages. Hey, is this guy somebody? Yeah, that's James Woods. We got a celebrity here. I repeat, this is not a normal dead person. This is a celebrity. Being a famous movie star entitled me to top-notch medical care, not available to the rest of society. My body was immediately taken to a Hollywood hospital, where I was hooked up to a 17-year-old ingenue. And in accordance with Hollywood law, her life force was infused into me. Bringing me back from the dead. What happened to the girl? I threw her out a car window at Nora Ephron. Stop making Jack Nicholson a pansy! You're thinking of Nancy Myers! She is. Adults are stupid. The world would be so much better if it were run by babies. Tonight on NBC, shapes! <laughs> and then, colors! <laughs> Followed by an all-new, Dad's Keys! <laughs> My God, who could be at the door at this hour? I don't know, but this late has got to be bad news. Everyone knows you always get bad news in the middle of the night. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Huh? What? You have cancer! What? Yeah, I thought you should know. Okay, go back to sleep. Wait, I have questions. <sighs> it's very late. Well, I guess I did kind of destroy your business, Mort. All right, then let's do it tomorrow night. Good. I'm just going to have to reschedule my weekly re-circumcision. So what are we doing today? A little off the top? Yeah, but leave a little up front so I have something to play with. Sounds good. And take a look at the back. You see that there? Yeah? Yeah, let's trim that. I don't know when that started, but let's get rid of that. This is just an album! Yeah, that's what I've been trying to tell you. So, you know, can you forgive me? Oh, I suppose so. I mean, Magellan forgave the Land Ho prankster. Land Ho! Where? Where? Psych. Made you look loser. Good thing there wasn't land, or else you'd have to meet the natives with that mustard stain on your shirt. What stain? Ah. Ah. Why did I even bring you on this trip? Because I'm the best damn land spotter in all of Europe. It's true, you are the best. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me that. I guess he fits the profile, Peter, but Lois's brother is locked up in an asylum. Well, either way, we gotta get out of here. Otherwise, we're just sitting ducks. Hey, we all know this guy goes for the classy ladies. In fact, I once caught him trying to pick up a quack whore. <laughs> All right, calm down. We all make bad choices. Lois, I hope you're sitting down. I got something to tell you. Oh, God, what's wrong? Is everything okay? Is it Chris? No, it's Peter, your husband. But I'm calling with big news. I was Anita in the camp production of West Side Story. Peter, you know you're terrible at patter songs. I did okay. When you first friends with America, when you first friends with America, when you first friends with America, when you first friends with America. Uncle Patrick, why do you strangle fat people? It's probably a weird fetish thing. Some criminals have them. Like those anal retentive bandits who robbed Quahog Bank last year. 
All right, hands in the air, vertically. Both arms should be parallel to each other. You! Fill this bag with clean, unmarked bills. But first, fix that notepad so it's at a right angle with the corner of your desk. And tap that pile of receipts against a flat surface so they're not sticking out haphazardly. You know what? Forget about the money. Everybody grab a broom. We are straightening this place up. Yeah, give them a chance, Joe. Like I did with scary teenagers. I used to be afraid of them until I realized they were just misunderstood. Hey, fat ass, give me your wallet. I could give you my wallet, but what I think you really want is love. It's true. I'm taking your shoes. <laughs>